How long does it take to recover from blepharoplasty? It typically takes about a week to recover from blepharoplasty. The incisions may continue to fade over the next period of months. Proper prep and post care are essential to quicker healing. Here's a quick guide. What is the fastest way to recover from blepharoplasty? The fastest way to recover from blepharoplasty is by using ice or cold compresses regularly throughout the first two days and to protect your eyes from wind and sun by minimizing your time outside or wearing dark sunglasses if you do. Try to stay out of the sun, wear big hats, or remain indoors during peak sun hours. Try to avoid touching or rubbing the eyelids to prevent infection. It is very important to quit smoking at least four weeks before surgery and continue with this absence for four weeks after. This can, includes avoiding smoke-filled rooms. Keep computer and phone screen time to a minimum. You will probably notice that your eyes feel tired faster for that first week anyway. Make sure to clean your eyelids daily and apply prescribed ointments and eye drops. Medications such as ibuprofen, aspirin, naproxen, and supplements such as fish oil should be avoided two weeks before surgery and during healing time, as they thin the blood and can cause more bruising. We prescribe pain medication to our patients, but for many, Tylenol works just fine. As with any surgery, rest, relaxation, and a healthy diet will speed healing. What is a lid lift procedure? A lid lift procedure is called a blepharoplasty. This surgery involves removing excess skin from your eyelids and is often requested by those with droopy upper lids or bags on the lower lids, making them look older or more tired than they feel. Most eyelid changes are hereditary, but become more noticeable with time as the skin and underlying tissues lose elasticity. For that reason, it is typical for me to see patients that are aged 35 and older come in for this type of surgery. Before surgery, your eyes will be examined and preoperative photos will be taken. We require an ophthalmic exam, including vision tests and tests for your tear production. After that, you'll be prepped for surgery. The upper lids can be performed with just local anesthesia in the office, IV sedation or general anesthesia, depending on your preference. For the lower lids, we use IV sedation or general anesthesia. In the upper eyelid surgery, the extra skin is removed in an elliptical fashion, placing the incision in the eyelid crease so it is hidden when the eye is open and difficult to see. The incision extends just a few millimeters toward the outside of the eye to address this hooding here if you need it. Tiny sutures are used to close the incision so that when it heals, you really can't see it. The lower lids can be addressed with an incision made either on the inside of the lash line to remove only fat or right below the lash line to remove fat and tighten the skin. In each case, the excess fat is removed. When there is excess skin, this is carefully redraped so that the lower lids are smooth and sewn with tiny sutures. The skin heals very well and the incision becomes difficult to see in just a few weeks. The surgery generally takes between one and three hours, depending on if we're doing the upper lids, lower lids, or both. Blepharoplasty is a quick procedure with a comfortable, speedy recovery that I like to perform that gives patients back a more youthful aesthetic. Since we always look at someone's eyes first, this provides a wonderfully youthful appearance with very little downtime. What can I expect after eyelid surgery? Most people have minimal pain, can be managed easily with Tylenol. However, we give you pain medications just in case. Most people have some bruising and swelling that is resolved or nearly resolved after a week. You may have some blurry vision from the ointment that we use at the time of surgery. Light sensitivity, watery eyes, dry eyes, or vision changes are extremely rare, but have been reported and should resolve in a couple of days if it occurs. Elevating your head and placing gauze that have been soaked in ice water as much as possible helps bruising and swelling resolve quicker. Strenuous activities such as exercise, heavy lifting, and swimming should be avoided for at least two weeks. How long will my eyes be swollen after blepharoplasty? Your eyes will be noticeably swollen for seven days and will decrease incrementally after that. You'll see changes in the swelling and healing on a daily basis for the first month and even up to three months. After that, it takes up to a year to fully heal, but the changes are more subtle. With proper icing, the swelling may subside sooner. Are you awake during blepharoplasty? It depends on which kind of anesthesia that you have. The upper blepharoplasty can be performed under local anesthesia where you are awake. We give you medications to relax and numb the area with lidocaine so that you don't feel anything. Most people choose this option to avoid having general anesthesia. However, you can perform this procedure with IV sedation or general anesthesia if you prefer or have other procedures done at the same time. Lower blepharoplasty is more involved and requires IV sedation or general anesthesia. You are asleep and will wake up in the recovery area and be allowed to go home the same day. You must have an adult drive you home and stay home with you that night. Have questions? I'd sincerely love to help. Call or email anytime. Thanks for watching.